Greetings, you guys. Hey, hi. Yeah, it's your favorite teacher here. I mean, the optimal black teacher you could ever ask for. <laughs> Just kidding, eh? Welcome to the A plus class. Welcome to the winning team. Welcome to the best team whereby now teamwork makes the dream work. Yes. So now, as for today, we're going to be sliding in uh, this topic uh, fact of factors of production and also its remuneration. And also, we're going to be uh, touching up on the types of industries that we have, or should I say, the business sectors. Actually, yeah, the sector section, not the business. Yeah, the sectors. Three types of sectors. Yeah. So now, without any further ado, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, we need to understand what do we mean by factors of production. So, factors of production are the resources or refers to the resources or the inputs that are used in the production process in order uh, to lean out an output. Right, I repeat. Factors of production refers to the inputs or resources that are used in the production process to create or lean out an output. So now we have four factors of production, namely land, labor, entrepreneurship, and capital. I repeat, but they will be here on the screen either way. So we have land, we have labor, we have entrepreneurship, and we have capital. So normally what do I always do? Whenever I teach my students, I tell them this. In order for you to not forget or in order for you to remember these factors of production, I give them this thing we call the mnemonics. Mnemonics is something of which is used or you use in order for you to not forget something. Right. So now, for you to, to, to be able to remember this, use the word cell, as in like C E double L. We have capital, we have entrepreneurship, we have land, we have labor. So let's get now to the remunerations. Capital is the first one, its remuneration, its interest. Number two, we have entrepreneurship, and its remuneration is profit. Then we have labor, and its, uh, its remuneration is salaries and wages. The last but not least, we have land, which is remuneration is, is rent. I believe that's clear. I believe that's, that's clear. Remember, the labor is the work that is done by the people. That's why its remuneration is salaries and wages because people work and after when you work at the end of the day or at the end of the month or at the end of the week we are expecting a salary or a wage so land why do we say land is remuneration is rent is because now whenever i have a land i can i, I can give someone that land to rent you know, I, I can, I can. It's either, it's either I sell or I rent uh, that um, that land. So that's why its remuneration is is rent. So entrepreneurship, you know that an entrepreneur is someone who starts a business and aims to make profit. So obviously, when you sell goods and services, at the end of the day, after selling, you are expecting when you count your money then you, you, you come to, to realize that you have made profit or something. So yeah, that is it. Now, <clears throat> pardon? Now let's get into um, the three types of sectors that we have, or the three types of industries. We, and we're going to look at the, the, the relationship between the three. <clears throat> we have the primary sector, we have the secondary sector, 
we have the tertiary sector. So now, the primary sector, it is where by now we extract raw materials from nature. <laughs> I repeat, the primary sector, it is where by now we do what? We extract raw materials from nature. Okay. Then the secondary sector, it is where by now we convert all the raw materials into finished products. That means the manufacturing of goods and services now takes place. All right. So, last but not least, the tertiary, uh, tertiary sector. It is where by now goods and services are now distributed to businesses. Whereby now the service is going to be offered. Whereby now those particular goods and services are going to be sold to end users or consumers as finished products. So, to cut the long story short, we take these goods and services, no, we, we extract, we collect raw materials from nature. For example, we go uh, cut the trees, uh, maybe somewhere, those trees are going to make what? Are going to make a table. Then we go and extract trees, raw materials from nature. We take those trees, we take them to our firm to do what? To convert, to manufacture those goods and services, to transform them into finished goods, into finished uh, goods or products. Then after we are done, we take those goods and services to do what? To, take, to distribute them to the businesses or we sell them to the businesses in the tertiary sector. That's where by now the goods are going to be sold to consumers. So ladies and gentlemen, that was it from me for today. Like I always say, stay blessed, stay nourished, stay focused, and stay persistent. Remember, as always, teamwork makes the dream work. Till we meet again, I love you all.